Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the Breaking the Habit presents the Somewhere I Belong Charity Marathon. My name is DJ Clark 21. Uh, I'll be taking you. We hosting you reading donations throughout this next uh, 40 to 45 minute run here with uh, WarioWare. Get it together. Brought to us by Fire Splitter. Just real quick, what we're doing here today. Uh, this is uh, a charity fund uh, for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Uh, they're dedicated to saving lives and bringing hope to those affected by suicide. Um, they create a culture that's smart about mental health by engaging in uh, funding research, educating the public about mental health and suicide prevention, advocating for public policies in mental health and suicide prevention, and supporting survivors of suicide loss and those affected by suicide in our in their mission. Um, if you know someone in crisis, please give them a call. That's 800-273-8255, or you can text TALK to 741-741. Um, that's always a good way, but, uh, with the, uh, with the charity, with the donations you give today, it's going to go straight to them and help a good cause. The namesake of this charity run comes from Lincoln park, namely, uh, Chester Bennington, who took his own life in 2017. Uh, he's an inspiration to a lot of us here, especially, um, LP, um, who, uh, gave him the inspiration to start this, this great, great, um, charity run that we do every year. Um, he, he wanted to give back, uh, to everything that Ch Chester gave to him and to the community. So he started this event in in their name um, to help those who struggle with suicide and coping from loss from suicide as well. So we're all here for that. We're all here to let you know um, uh, it may feel like it, but you're not alone. There's always someone out there that wants to help you. Um, and that's what we're here for. That's what we're here to, to campaign for and to let you know that um, we're here with you. Um, I'll be reading donations throughout the stream mostly. Um, I'll be waiting until uh, Fire gives me the, the heads up so that she can concentrate solely on this game and uh, I don't interrupt her her amazing run here. Um, just a few, few things to keep in mind right now. Um, you can still vote on the Resident Evil 2 costume selection. Uh, the classic 98 costume is in the lead. I didn't think that would get overpassed, but that's in the lead. And then you can also vote for the Spyro color selection. Green is leading right now with black in second and red followed right up behind that. So you can still uh, put your donations towards your voting there and try to try to sway things in your direction should you like to. Uh, we did get the farming simulator uh, incentive, so that will be played later. And um, there are still many rewards to uh, put donations towards that you can potentially get your name in to win. Lots of things like uh the the silicon uh, uh breaking the habit wristbands the xbox live digital gift card for 20 bucks the sonic inflatable g fuel advertisement um the nintendo switch online expansion pack and also a uh, resin resin lincoln park art piece so get your donations in for those items and hopefully you'll you'll go home with something special for, for raising money for a good cause um we have already crushed our uh our donation goals i'm going to read one donation real quick and then i'm going to hand things off to our uh, our main attraction here, uh, G Mundy, donated two hundred dollars, and all he said or she said was uh, just the heart emoji. Thank you so much, G Mundy, for that donation. That's amazing. You are uh, a legend. Thank you so much for that. And now uh, I'm gonna hand things off to Fire Splitter and let her do her thing. Hello, everyone. Good evening to everyone, and good night to everyone who lives in Europe right now. And yeah, today we're gonna start the lovely run where we're getting together, New Game Plus, with three, four, five characters, which means we gotta pick which actually we get. And with boss deaths. What boss deaths mean is, well, I, I'm gonna explain that as we start to run. We're gonna start to run pretty neatly now. We're gonna. Whenever we press A button here, we're gonna start. So I'm gonna do a little counter before we start. Three, two, one, go! Oh, that was me. That was. <laughs> So we're gonna pick characters here and we're gonna pick these three characters. The reason we're gonna pick these three characters is pretty simple. It is so we can basically die quickly on the boss fights because what's what is making this this category what it is, is the fact we can actually die on the boss fights, which saves a lot of time compared to not doing it. But it also adds some more skill elements to the game because we have to go, do really really well on the micro games. Because one thing to keep in mind is that we still have to complete each level, which will include surviving after the boss fight and not getting a game over. So if we have three, if we have one life left, if we have one of these little batteries left at the end of the course, we cannot take a boss death, and that's something we really, really want to prevent, as that is losing significant time. So a lot of the action here is gonna be based on the mark games, and hope we can deliver on those. Yay, 
There we go. So the first course here is basically a little introduction. Kind of like a tutorial to the game. It's meant to be in the any percent run, and it's like comp containing some really, really simple mini games. There aren't. There are rarely gonna be problems in this first part of the course, but there can be, especially if I forget to die. The, the, the biggest mistake I can do in this run is that I forget that I should die because this is like the only category where we die on the boss courses. Normally we try to win the boss courses, so... Yeah, I hope I don't do that mistake. I did that mistake a lot during practice, <laughs> when I practice for this category. <laughs> but I have... yeah. It's like the most common mistake actually that we are not dying when we should die. It's very, very common. <laughs> so we have some really, really... Get your RNG there, taking a long time to die there, and there we go. First course done. Gonna pick three shards again, they're pretty quick to lose with. Basically, it doesn't really matter much which shards we pick here, we just gotta pick shards that can die quickly. <laughs> normally, we take, yeah, normally we take a lot more care to what shards we pick, but here it's basically pick which shards can die quickly and like do the least menuing. Because menu it does matter in this game. So as this is a lot about the micro games, I am gonna talk about one of the most important time saving mechanics in this category. And that is the fuse you see there. If it's a long fuse like it's on this course, there are basically three points where the course could add or frame rules. And each frame rule that we save saves like 2.5 seconds. So we really want to hit those. And how do we hit those? Well, the first one is basically gonna be halfway through, and the second one is three quarters through, and the final one is like at the very, very end. So we are, on those mini games, we have to care a lot about how quickly we win or lose. But I can tell you all, we are not gonna take too many intentional deaths here, because as I said earlier, we really, really want this health bar to be healthy for the boss fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this this is basically crazy. I mean, yeah, this game is crazy. <laughs> so basically what's happening here is that this course has a theme like everyday stuff and mm. yeah. And we are playing as Shards in this game. Like if people have played like the other Warrior games, you might you might like know that like there are normally micro games, that, right? But you are usually like playing as elements of the course. But in this game, like you have a specific character, each character has different mechanics to them, which does matter quite a bit in how we pick characters for some categories. But this is not one of them. Mm. There we go. Little piggy bank fell down. Really safe now, actually. There we go. We got some duckies. <laughs> and now we get the bus for bus course. So it's important here that we lose. <laughs> so I'm gonna <laughs> do wrong here. I I am so good at like winning by accident. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it's kind of it's kind of curse because I normally run like other categories more, and in those we are supposed to win. It's like it becomes like a habit of me to try to win this. Right. But thankfully we lost here. Okay. There we go, we're done there, and we're up to fantasy. Gonna pick these three shares, so these characters are the fastest to pick. And they can all lose relatively quickly on the course. So this is a course where I was for a while considering if it was quicker to win or lose, because there is a really, really fast win strat on this course. Like, a really, really fast win strat. But over time, I learned it's actually slightly fast to lose this course. Because like there is, there is a strategy to win this one really, really, really quickly. But it's a very, very difficult strat, but I am able to perform that strategy, so... I was like, experiment a little bit, see if it was fast, but it really, really isn't. I think it loses like 5 or so seconds to lose, or win I mean, compared to losing, which is very little actually. On most courses, like, we gain or lose like... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna win this one. <laughs> Normally we don't win this one because it's a long one, but this course has three long min three min games we want to lose. So we take that win because that win is the hardest one to get the first frame frame rule on. Right, so we actually we'll lose a what? Alright, we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, we take it exactly. So normally on this like normally like we are trying to avoid losing, but like 
There are some courses where it's actually fast to lose due to some very very specific reasons. It's it's one of those things that it's just the case. Mm -hmm. And so of course like it doesn't even make sense that we can lose quicker, but uh, it it part like it's dependent on so many things. Like on some courses it's because the win animation is really long, on some courses it's because we have to start stuff to win. That's like way too slow to perform. Yeah. To make the first frame move. So yeah, it's very 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 much like it's one of those things you have to learn basically. It was like one of the things that took me a while to learn when I started to run this game actually. Which courses to win or lose on on purpose. Okay. But once you like know it, it's like really easy. Yeah. It's like but it's, it's like one of those things you have to remember. Just mm -hmm. like we have to remember to lose on this boss course. <laughs> I knew I had to remind myself so much for this. Yeah, it's so against what you normally would do. Yeah, it goes against what you normally do in this game, yeah. Especially on this course, because this course... I have practiced a lot, because the strategy here is, as I said earlier, like, it's a very, very difficult strat to win this one quickly. And that's like what we normally do, but yeah, there we go. So Gabby eat them. Well, let the cap be eaten there. <laughs> and there we go! And it's time for the next course, I think. And on this course, we're gonna make some of the best food there is in the land. Alright, it's dinner time. Yeah. Make a match. And you pump. That character can jump and stick on the roof. <laughs> I should mention that because it's a very important mechanic to that character. It's what separates him from his pupil, Young Cricket. Oh, okay. Young Cricket can also jump, but Young Cricket doesn't stick on the roof. We actually gotta lose this one on purpose, even though I won't try to avoid taking intentional losses. But this one is relatively easy to not take too many intentional losses on, and it saves like 5 seconds to take that loss. I mean, so hopefully it doesn't come back to me <laughs> later. But I kind of dare to do it in this course because this is a relatively easy course. There's one course later where I'm not gonna be as comfortable taking intentional deaths. Sure. Because like anything is anything is better than having to do the boss courses. <laughs> Like, yeah, the boss course are like, actually really, really long in some cases, and this course is has a pretty long boss course. Not once longer, but still relatively long. The only boss course gonna be actually kinda long is one boss course you're gonna have towards the middle of the run, because that course has some really, really fun stuff going on that makes it, the force is to be like at least a, min a minute and a half. Sure. Okay. There we go. Yeah. In the screen, so we can look at cat memes. <laughs> <laughs> and the laser is here, and there we go. Now we're gonna lose again, and we're gonna make some sushi. The first sushi we're gonna have to make correctly, the second sushi we are gonna fail. Because we can't, we, we can actually lose on the first sushi, but it's like really slow. Because we would have to wait for a timer to run out, and that is extremely, extremely slow. I tried it out, and we get to pick that sushi, which is the omelette sushi, which is the wrong sushi, so we lose there, but... We get the bonus stage, which is what we want, so... Yeah. Right. I should mention that, like, there is another New Game Plus category where we are actually winning instead, and that category is much, much, much lower because of that. Yeah. And it's like, also like, in that category it matters a lot more with characters we pick. Like, a lot, a lot more. Mm. And this one we're gonna lose a purpose. Because the winning animation for this minigame is actually really, really, really long. <clears throat> it's okay. actually, it's actually the GameCube starting screen that's in the, that it's winning oh, animation. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's, it, everyone who's played the GameCube knows that that one is pretty long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we don't really wanna see that. <laughs> I like this, all these retro games and stuff, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this, this is like a retro game themed. It's like probably one of most people's like favorite 
favorite warrior course, I feel. And like every time a new yeah. Just and like every time, games, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. And every time a new warrior game is released, like it feels like the community is like most curious about which core which which old class games are gonna be represented in Nine Volt's course this time. <laughs> yeah. Like it definitely feels like that. Like like that was like the huge thing that people hyped were hyped about when they revealed this game, I remember. Like everyone was like really, 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 really curious about which game we're gonna be represented here and boop, beautiful. Good yeah, bouncer. Spin it. This is one of the harder micro games in this course, but we did it. First frame rule. Create shape. Get up. Yeah, it's going pretty well so far, actually. I've actually been remarkably lucky so far as well with which, which micro games we've had. There's so much happening. Yeah, there's so much happening in this game always. Got like some Yoshi eggs. It's like one of the thing, one of the things I actually like about this game. There's like so much happening. Yeah, it's like almost non-stop. Yeah, there's like always something, but there's still like mostly other scrolls. Like there's just happening stuff. And yeah. This is probably the first <laughs> bad minigame game we have. Because like it has a long fuse and we can't lose it quickly. And yeah. time for the box course and we all know what that means. <laughs> Clear course. Oh. Which death? <laughs> Did a Yoshi appearance, we had some Bowser, that was great. Yeah. That was a great course. And now we're gonna see a rerun of some of the course we've seen so far, because in remix uh. it's basically gonna be a mix of everything we've seen so far up to this point. So basically anything we've seen so far can happen here, so we can have some more Nintendo stuff happening, we can basically have anything happening here, so yeah. this can go any way really. So that's my game we just saw, every character actually has a different pose they do if you are standing still when the pose is taken. That's all it is, it's just standing still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a still it's a it's a sad still when the camera is snapping. Mm. Which is a fun little Easter egg in my opinion. Oh yeah. A challenge. Spin it. Oh, Slenderman. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was a little bit slow, but we take it. And Yep, gonna have to win this. Even though it's a little slow, <clears throat> I'd rather take like safe. I'd rather take the safe tutorial this course because this course has a little bit more option of markups can happen than previous courses, so we don't really know what's happening. It can be some really, really nasty. Okay, it's back to back. This one we definitely want to lose. No! I want to lose, I said. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the ball flew away. It flew in like another direction I wanted to. It's one of the markers we have to lose to save time on. It's because, like, otherwise you have to dodge until time is up. There's gonna be a couple of those. Gonna launch up the space bunny. <laughs> Green screen, and we have some cat memes there, as you can see. Well, cat's getting married, actually. Even. Aww. Yeah, it's pretty cute. It's always nice to like. Yeah, it's like always nice to look at stuff in the background on the web browser. And it also like highlights a little bit about what I another thing I like about this game, and that is that this game really really has a lot of varied art styles. Yeah. And it's like one of the really really big charms of this game, especially like when the art style of the course matches a lot against like the character design. Mm -hmm. That's like probably yeah. the most fun in this game. And here we go. Going on to nature. Nature, here we go. Yeah. Nature is calling. <laughs> so this is gonna be very, very animal themed. All right, clean bathroom. Yeah, gotta clean up the bathroom. Free. Free the butterfly. <laughs> butterfly, I mean. But 
I, I always, since I was a child, I always called butterflies butterfreeze because the Pokemon. Pokemon, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always call like butterflies butterfreeze. That works. My English teacher, my English teacher would be like, "Wait, what are you saying?" <laughs> <laughs> because like English is still like my native language. Yeah. Like it's kind of become like that was like the first like that was like the first time I heard like the butterf butterfly. Mm hmm. I was like butterflies. Like I'm always in butterflies and butterfly. Of course, <laughs> of course. English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah. Any issue? Bye bye, butterfly. Yep. <laughs> they always like used to say like butter butterfly and butterfly. It was like weird, but it, <laughs> it worked. Yeah, it worked. Everyone would know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, like who doesn't know about Pokemon nowadays anyway? I yeah, think right. I, I think I met anyone like who actually doesn't know about Pokemon. They've at least heard of it, yeah. Yeah, they have at least heard of it, and like they have at least heard of like more popular ones. Mm -hmm. And we got a huge egg there, and there are some squirrels in that egg. Sure, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's what you find yeah. in eggs. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's actually a really really good idea to read donations right now because we are soon coming up to the quiz part, and that's one I really really will need to focus on. Okay, uh, we don't have any donations yet, but I will read real quick. Um, there is still the challenge out there made by Lethal earlier today to finish Jim's Mario Maker two level. There is a tweet out there at Habit Charity. You will donate one hundred dollars if you can defeat the world code um, or defeat the first level, not even the whole world, just the first level that we all did not complete in the first hour of this charity stream. So head on over to our, our Twitter habit charity at habit charity on Twitter. And the world code is there. B F eight P L Q J Y F. And if you can screenshot uh, you completing that level or a small little video, 30 second clip or whatever you can do on your switch, uh, go ahead and uh, retweet it to that or at lethal um, 40 underscore 40. It's in the, the tweet there too as well. And he'll donate a hundred bucks. So there's that. It has not happened that I know of. I haven't seen any tweets yet. Um, I'm working on it in between streams or in between uh, segments, but uh, I've also got other things to do, so I can't do it all myself. But all right, uh, get those donations in! Exclamation! Donate in the chat. You can find out where you need to go to make a donation. Get them in! Get them in! I know it's it's late in the day. We've been doing this all day, but we got plenty more time to go. Let's get them in. Let's uh. Let's show Fire Splitter some love here on this on this on this cool run on this great game. Okay, thank you very much. But yeah, this is going really really well so far. I'm actually doing a little thing different here because I am currently kicking off another character than I, nor than I normally do. And the reason for that is because this character is really really quick to to lose or win the quartz with here because it has some the character has some really really unique mechanics which makes it really really good for this boss course. Therefore, I'm picking that character instead of Cat and Anna, who are really, really not good for the boss course here. <clears throat> okay. There is some. There is a reason why I picked a little bit of different character there. Sure. Yeah, I, it's not random. It's not random. I play yeah. Orblon here. Uh, real quick, we stand at two thousand three hundred thirty-one dollars raised already. Can we hit twenty-five hundred? I think. I think we can, guys. I think. Absolutely do. I read, I read a little bit in chat about people's favorite Pokemon. And I think like my favorite Pokemon is like it's pretty hard for me which my favorite Pokemon is. Mm. There are like so many great Pokemons, but like I'm really really a fan of the more humanoid Pokemon, like Gafarita and Gardevoir. Uh, I've always always loved those Pokemon. Okay. I'm pretty basic. It's very very hard for me to pick a favorite. I would say it's probably Gofiel. I would say. <laughs> because I, I really, really... Like, I was going to say, I tend to steer pretty basic, like either Pikachu or Charmander. Yeah. I really, really like those, because those Pokemon are like really, really cute, in my opinion. Yeah, right. And I'm one of those people like prefer cute Pokemon over really looking Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, really yeah. Speaking. I mean, like, I like I'm the being, same... I, was saying, I like being in the water, so maybe I would go with like Squirtle. Yeah. 
I think I really like really like with Pokemon character design as well. Like there are so many different like character designs. Mm -hmm. There's like something for everyone to like in the oh, yeah. of Pokemon. Yeah. Like if you like cool Pokemon, there are like plenty of super cool Pokemon. But if you like cute Pokemon, there are like also a lot of really cute Pokemon. <laughs> this one we gotta try to lose as quickly as possible. Climb. The way we gotta do that is basically by. There we go. That was a quick loss. I think that's the quickest loss I've ever done on that course. That's extremely <laughs> nice. We have so many courses that's gone really, really quick, but I did a little mistake on the quiz one. I actually asked the first question correctly. I forgot I should lose. Oh so, no. I forgot for like a second that I should lose, and yeah, that happens then. Keep it up. I was even having you read donation so I wouldn't forget that. Yeah. <laughs> Get out. I thought that was the part too, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's really, really hard to remove that fact because, like, it's something that gets hardcore it goes if you when you speedrun the game, you should win it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, this is like very, very much like opposite how to play this because, like, <laughs> instead of trying to win, you're trying to lose on boss fights at least. Mm -hmm. And we are refusing to do some strat some safety strats we are normally doing, or not safety strats, but like time safety strats actually. Sure. So we do some mini games on purpose. To instead, like, opt for being able to certainly lose the boss fights. Just a, a quick, quick, or, yeah. Oops, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead first. Quick yeah, reminder, like. quick reminder, chat, don't forget that there are the donation raffle going on as well. So you can donate and still uh, take a little something home for yourself for your, for your troubles. And for your generous uh, donations. Plenty of cool things in there for you to, yeah. to, get, to get your name in for. Yeah, I'm reading in chat the same talking about a one year expansion pack from Nintendo Switch Online. Yeah, yeah. Mine's up in a month, I think. Yeah. That's a pretty good deal, especially that Nintendo are like looking to like further give out more Nintendo 64 games. They're actually yeah. still releasing the Mario Party Trilogy, if I remember correctly. Uh, Goldeneye next year. Yeah, a gold knight as well. That's a classic. Yeah, multiplayer that's online. A classic. Too. Yeah, that, that's also a classic speedrunning game. Oh yeah, yeah. For all <laughs> speedrunners out there. Golden Eye, Golden Eye, the first FPS craze before Halo. Yeah. Juice. Yeah, though I feel like a lot of people like who are younger nowadays like don't understand how big Golden Eye was back in the day. Oh man, yeah. Was... Like Golden Eye was huge. It was like the biggest thing ever. I was, I was, I'll age myself here. I was in high school when that came out, and yeah, that was yeah. enormous. Like, everyone ran it. Yeah. Or played it, I mean. I think it's early next year, Yasi. I'm not sure, though. I don't think they said an exact date. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, I don't remember when Goldeneye was going to release on Switch Online. But yeah, they, they had the, the three Mario Party games, that's what you were saying, right? Yeah, they are going to come out pretty yeah. soon, I think. I want them to put out. Um, more Zelda games. Yeah, I mean, what Zelda games can I like put up for Nintendo 64 though? I think they're already released all 64 Zelda games. Yeah, I think you're right, yeah. I would actually gonna lose this one on purpose. It's a little bit risky, but we have to take the risk here. Get one on. Goldeneye and Quake Team Fortress. Yeah, you're right, yeah. you're right. Yeah, Quake Team Fortress was like... Quake was like also really, really huge, I remember, back in mm -hmm. the days. Oh, yeah. And never really, never the really source, I think. Yeah, the yeah. The source I also think was like really huge. I was never a huge fan of Steve Steve Swords myself. Like I had so many like friends and stuff who loved that game. I can like absolutely understand why they loved it. Like it was such a good game. Mm -hmm. I think like, a lot of the earlier first person shooter games were like very very amazing. Yeah, it was the ones that got in on the. Uh... Multi-life or multiplayer online or free yeah. early. Yeah, and I also think they had like really really good level designs most of them. Yeah, 
was it like Counter Strike? I remember that was like one of the first yeah. big ones too on PC. Yeah, it was one of the first big ones. Wasn't Counter Strike like one of the first big games that didn't have like a single player mode? At yeah, all? It was, yeah, it was all all multiplayer. I think it was all yeah. online multiplayer too. Yeah, because like earlier in the days, like the early, early first person shooters, like would always have single player modes, but like really, really fleshed out. Mm -hmm. And the multiplayer would like basically be an addition to that. Right. But Counter Strike was Counter Strike was like one of the games that really, really changed that. Yep. But now we're done talking about Counter Strike. We're now we're gonna talk about Warrior again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we are on the culture course here, where we yeah. are gonna. <laughs> <laughs> They got some gold there, and we're still at the boss fight actually. It's going really, 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 really well so far. I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing in this run. Now we're just gonna have to lose this course really, really quickly. And sadly, <laughs> losing quickly on this course is still not really that quick. On this course, we are gonna raise and lower the bridge so cars and boats can pass. And as we are trying to lose, we are gonna do the opposite. Oh, destruction. Yeah, we gotta destroy all the cars and destroy all the boats. <laughs> you shall not pass. Yeah. I said no, slow down. Oh, it just tipped over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. All Done right. with that. And we are going towards the end game here. We have wow. Remix 2.0, where we once again see like all of the cores we've seen like so far in a health little mix. And we'll see what course we get. So this once again, I'm not gonna take too many deaths on purpose here because it's very, very scary to see on these courses. Because right. these courses are like both long and they are difficult. Collect. There you go. We got clean, clean the ocean. Yeah, clean the ocean. In flight. Beautiful. And make me float, love, lovely. Who <laughs> knew Wario was so helpful? Yeah, Wario's a good person on the inside. <laughs> He's just trying to hide it so people won't take advantage of his good heart. That's right, that's right. <laughs> he does a very good job hiding it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. He hides it well I'm with his villainy. <laughs> I think he's overdoing it a little bit, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Overcompensating. <laughs> Overcompensating is just like people don't understand he's, good, he's a good guy. <laughs> I mean, what is like one of the shares is like both works as a protagonist and an antagonist in most games, which I kind of love. Yeah. Like, where can either be a protagonist or an antagonist? Because, like, even though Warrior's, like, super greedy, like, nothing inherently super evil about him. It's just that he's, like, extremely greedy and extremely selfish. Yeah, he's not kidnapping princesses. Yeah, he's, it's, it's not, like, doing stuff just because they are evil. <laughs> so he can actually be a protagonist. He can actually be a protagonist. But I think there are, like, quite a few games where he is actually a protagonist. Like, all of the war like most of the Wario Wario, yeah. land games. This course can be a little longer, which is why we didn't want to take too many safety deaths here. But this is actually remarkably good. We haven't seen a single bad minigame yet, which is super rare on this course. And there we go, we get a feed. And here's the boss course, we're gonna die here. This time we're gonna die a little differently though than we did in the last. <laughs> Of course we did this. I love this. Once again, of course, this. don't forget to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna die a little bit differently this time. We actually gotta fill up the first juice basket here. Don't spell. If we can do that, it's because it makes this bee spawn sooner. We can die to that sooner. Ah, okay. Yeah, because once the first one is built, the bee is spawning. So yeah. We have to clear that one as quickly as possible so we can get the bee spawn. On this course, we have to pick five shares. We have to pick these five because it's quick to pick these five. And all of them can move because the important shares can move. There are actually some shares in this game that can't move, and those shares are really, really not good on the boss course here to die quickly on. So, this is gonna be the final level, but the time is not gonna happen at the end of the boss fight. It's actually gonna happen. 
during a very, very interesting scene, which I'm gonna mention once we get there. <laughs> okay. Because I know it can make sense until, like, until we mention it, basically. <clears throat> Beautiful. We open the treasure box and get some nice little monks there. Dodge. And dodge. This course is basically fighting back a little bit. Yes. Just a little, not too much, oh, but yeah. a little bit. There we go, got some credit card. So we're gonna play with Penny for like the first time here, and Penny is one of the more difficult to control characters. He's actually a pretty she's actually a pretty good character, but she's very, very difficult to control. She like he's one of the last characters, yeah, he's one of the last characters you unlock in this game. He basically controls by shooting her. Yeah, okay, oh, you can I see what I'm doing. Yeah, this is in our you can like stop by pressing the A button. So she's like very, very difficult to control. Yeah. But once you learn to control her, she's actually really, really solid. But she is a uh, she is a more difficult character's character. Transport. There we go. Get the money to the warrior. Defeat. Defeat those two. If you don't defeat those two quickly enough, basically they're gonna explode and I lose a life. Okay. We're gonna lose here on purpose because otherwise we would have to dodge that forever. Oh, we have some health, so we can actually. I actually dare to lose that one. That was a really, really bad. Oh god, this is scary. This is not what we want to look at. Mm. If I lose one more time, I'm gonna have to actually win the boss course, and that's super slow on this course. Got it. You got it. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it. We only have to like, do a little bit more. And most of these courses I practice a lot because it's not too difficult. But, like, the problem is that I pick Penny as a character. Penny is a good character, she's very, very difficult to control. But what I worry about is getting Penny on a bad course. That's really what I'm most worried about. Yeah. That's like the one thing that can't go wrong. I pick that one in those lose a little bit of time. Normally we like try to pick that one. Okay, there we go. We should be safe now. Nice. There we go, boss course. We safe. We safe. We safe. We safe. I feel like really, really good about this run. I'm not sure what time we'll get, but I have a good feeling about this run. We have been really, really lucky on most parts, and I only like one pretty huge mistake. So yeah, I feel I feel very good here. I'm gonna turn back quickly and fly to the this is it. thing in there. So, this round is ending once we pick this boss nose. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah, so it's gonna get time. It is time. There we go. So 34.01. Oh, that's a really, really good time. I'm gonna see how good it is actually. 34.01.38. Great run. Yeah, I'm gonna have to see if that is a PB by any means. I don't think so, but it's gonna be close. I have to check <clears> if this is the PB because this can be really, really close to PB actually. Oop, I uh, screwed something up here. This. No, it's not PB actually. It was really, really close to PB though. I think it was six seconds from PB. That's really, really huge in a marathon run. This was a great, 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 great run. Knockdown. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for the clapping and thank you for the good game. It was love to do this run. <laughs> that was an amazing, amazing run. Really, really yes, close to the yes. record. <laughs> very good, very good. Sorry, I accidentally put the chat in emote mode. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah. My mouse was in the wrong window. Uh, yes, great, great run. Thank you so much, uh, yeah. Fire Spider. That was fantastic. That was a lot of fun. That was really entertaining. Yeah, thank you so much. It was lovely to have to be here. It was love, lovely to do this run. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did enjoy running it. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Thank you so much yeah. in the chat. Um, thanks for donating, everybody that was donating during that segment. Uh, we had a blast. We had a good time. Uh, any, any more other last words, Fire Spider, before I hand things over? Uh, not really. I don't have any final words. I'll let you all continue with the marathon. And 
this one thing though, have a great rest of the marathon and have fun everyone and I hope you all enjoy this rest of the marathon and that all of the future runners are gonna have a good time too, just as I had. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we Thanks are so going. Having me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we are going to hand things over. We're going to take a break for a second. And then actually, I think we're taking a small break um, to get set up for the farming sim run uh, since we did hit that incentive. So uh, we'll be right back, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for the uh, Breaking the Habit presents the Somewhere I Belong charity stream run charity uh, words. Charity stream, we're just going to say that. Exclamation donate in the chat for all your information uh, about how to donate to this worthy, worthy charity. Um, and we'll be right back for a lot more fun. Um, like I said, we've got the the farming sim coming up next and then Spyro after that. So we'll see you soon. All right. Get some water, get stretched out, go to the bathroom, get some food. We'll be right back. <laughs> 